Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm on the ANSYS Learning Forum and found an interesting piece of geometry here put up by Yap Yap. And it's a brace. And the brace has the geometry came by scanning an object. And then that produced an STL file, which was turned into a solid, which was meshed with TET elements. And my suggestion was, could uh, a shell element be replaced if the geometry could be turned into a surface model instead of a solid model? So we're going to look at that and uh, we're going to use ANSYS 2020R1. Uh, the poster has ANSYS 19.2, so the tools might not be all available there, but I will um, let you uh, try that in your version and I'll demonstrate in this. Uh, so the first idea is um, it's a lot of geometry. What the goal is to separate the inner surface from the outer surface and um, by deleting the faces on the through the thickness on the edges. Now there's a lot of edges so I'm not going to do the whole thing in this video. I'm going to cut off a little piece to demonstrate the techniques and you can try to um, do that for yourself. The STL file is in that uh, thread I showed at the beginning. Uh, so what we'll do is first we'll uh, in the facets tab we will um, pick this and we want to convert it to a solid body. So we'll right click and say convert to solid. And we get the um, message. It's highly recommended uh, not to convert, but we're going to say yes to that. But we do in fact want to convert it. And so it uh, will just give uh, faces. Now if you're on the student version, uh, you can't save this because there's too many faces. Uh, so don't try, but uh, this is the full version. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut off a little piece. So I want to go and uh, grab the plane and uh, zoom in and maybe make a plane uh, along one of these edges and use the, uh, the move tool to move that plane uh, over a little bit so I can um, work on the piece. And I might even tilt it a little so I'm sort of slicing somewhat through the thickness and um, we're going to work on this rectangular piece here. So there we there there's there's a little this this rectangular piece. So split body split this body with this plane and uh, needs to compute all the intersections between that plane. And uh, once it does, we're going to hide some of the uh, solids that we're not going to use and convert the one solid back into facet body to work on it yeah, with the facet tools. Okay, it's done now and we are um, going to turn off the pieces we don't want. That's the one we do want. And we don't want, uh, oh, that's the one we do want, there we go. So we don't need to see the plane. So there is a piece of a solid geometry uh, with one clean face. We're going to go to facets and convert that back to a facet body. So solid 2 will become solid 2 closed watertight facet body. Now the goal is to delete the faces on the edge and uh, that can be as simple as double clicking on a face with the select tool. So here's the select tool double clicking on a face and the whole face lights up because it's a plane. I hit the delete key and we can see inside. Now um, we're going to do, try that on this edge here and we have this handy little 
thing to make it go further along. And if we repeat and pick and expand it up, there's uh, there are other tools as well. But um, we'll do a bit more on this. And uh, here's another tool. So the paintbrush tool is quite useful, but we don't want to paint through to the other side. And so the, the selection filter is set to visible, not through. And that's perfect. So when we click on the paint tool, we can um, paint. Oh, we flipped it to the box tool. When we are on the paint tool, I can now paint faces. And there's an easy way to get rid of some uh, individual faces without spending too long. But we'll go back to double clicking. And now we'll just maybe paint a little. And we'll call that uh, separated. So we've separated the front from the back. And what we want to do now is delete the outside and keep the inside. But there's just a single body and you use the separate button to do that. And you click separate. And now there's a outside body which we can uh, delete. Go back to the select tool. We want to keep the inside and delete the outside. So here is the geometry we want to use for a surface body to mesh. <clears throat> now the tool we're going to use is in the tools tab and it's called skin surface. So skin surface is um, used as a double click for corners and then single clicks uh, for um, side nodes and then a double click for another corner. So as we go around here, um, single clicks you might put uh, points a little closer together when the curvature is higher and a double click for a corner and we're going to do a single click there <coughs> pardon me And a double click. Um, I probably should have added a point there, but uh, I'll keep going. So you can you can have as many points along here as you wish. And when you get done, you have this uh, thing. I don't know if it's possible to add another point. Let me just accept the um, surface. And so now I have, I have geometry, which I can mesh with shell elements. That was uh, skinned over uh, an underlying thing. So there's, there's, you can see there's, uh, I should have put more points um, if I wanted to get an exact representation of that facet body. But uh, that is a surface that can be meshed with shell elements. And if we um, cut another piece out and make a series of patches, we can um, go around. Uh, you might maybe can do it on this one. But for example, this piece because that got sliced a bit too close there, we might take these two and unite them. So that's back in the uh, combine. And 
same way that we would uh, pick that and say add to that. Uh, those two pieces can be put back together and sliced somewhere else to be more beneficial and not get so close to that hole. So that's uh, all I wanted to show today. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.